Hello and welcome. Today is October 23rd, 2024, and today we'll be doing a little bit of a Nightingale Let's Play. I'm your host, Sholo Q. I'm here to basically guide you through the process. I've played through the story once before, and I'm pretty much in endgame, so I figured I might as well go through the whole thing and maybe help some of you guys out when it comes to some of these quests. So for this uh, playthrough, I'm going to go through the offline mode. I prefer to play in offline personally, but you can do this in online mode, obviously. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy paste my appearance from my main profile here. So I'm going to uh, export appearance and then exit. Go to the second thing, new profile, import appearance, and finalize. And I guess I'll name myself, we'll go with Sholo2. <laughs> Instead of Sholo Q, I'll be Sholo2. <laughs> All right, let's go. Before time itself, the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywilds. The Fey have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed. In the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin. And out flowed the pale, swallowing all in its path. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale. Only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. But ah, perhaps not all is lost. For Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment, humanity's final beacon. Your path thither is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit? Or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward, and rebuild anew? All right, so that was a great opening cutscene. I'm going to try my best not to talk over cutscenes or character narration. Um, but I got to say, I really like... Uh, Whoever voices Puck, they're doing an excellent job. They're just killing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is going to be a really fun playthrough. I've been looking forward to doing a playthrough like this for a while. I put up a poll on my YouTube community tab and you guys voted for this. So super excited to say the least. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into it. Hopefully we're just waiting for the realm to prepare itself. Now, um, we just had an update today. And there were just some bug fixes and some minor things, it looks like. So uh, nothing too crazy, though. They did introduce a Halloween event. I'm not going to do the Halloween event as part of this playthrough, but uh, I just thought it was worth mentioning. All right, so now we are in an unfamiliar place. Just kidding, it's familiar to me. And you know what? I'm going to take this piece of essence right here. And I'm also going to release the hope echo. I'm not going to read through all of the uh, stuff. I could, but I'll give it a second on the screen. So if you want to pause here, feel free to do so. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to do is acquire this simple wood axe. We're going to break down. There we go. Uh, here's the first of seven chests that are available in this first area. A lot of people don't know about them. Also, you can break chests and collect materials, but we're not going to do that now. How now, 
Ashling, whither wander you lost in our favor? All right. And it's dead. Oh, here we go. Just gotta time it right. They keep spawning. I wanna see if... Okay, that one's not gonna run toward us. There is an area back here. I can't remember. I think it's this one. There's a chest back here, actually, that's hidden. So make sure to grab this one. I also did a shorts video kind of going over the seven locations. So if you ever need a re refresher that's like really fast, feel free to go check that out. Um, I'll probably link it here. Show haste, human. The other side of this, this is kind of a false choice. There's nothing back here, so I'm just going to run past. So just run left, not right. That would be my advice there. Goodbye. Before those bound All right, we're going to ignore Puck. We're going to instead grab the rest of the stuffs in the chests. There we go. As far as what uh, setup you should be going with when you first create your character, I'm not going to tell you guys what I think is like best or what you should do. It really depends on what you're more comfortable with or what you uh, feel is best for you, especially because, you know, I don't know your uh, I don't know if you've like played this game before or if you're just returning or something like that. So you want to make sure that you're just picking whatever you think is best. And, you know, honestly, it's mostly about having fun. This isn't about optimization. Uh, well, at least this playthrough isn't. I'm just kind of, you know, walking through the motions so that you guys can uh, kind of experience the game with me a little bit here. All right, let's grab this. I think that's the last chest. There. If I remember correctly, I believe that's the seventh chest. I don't think there's another one here, but I will grab this essence. There we go. All right, let's talk to Puck. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Oh. Under this mask, you wonder. I am Puck. Robin to some. Oberon's merry wanderer of the night. The last furtive fay to grace your kind. Now, take this blood-stained card that you might travel swiftly to the realm of abeyance. Give me your hands that we may be friends, and I shall restore amends. Well, I guess we have no choice. That wasn't ominous at all. Divide, greater gifts await. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. Hurry on the toward portal and apparatus so you bare child of earth might abscond this nightmare okay oh they changed the button so it's e for next now okay well that's new <laughs> good to know yeah that wasn't here before so there's that we're just going to drop in our abeyance card and we're going to open the portal. Now, as we open the portal, a bunch of enemies Fly are going to spawn the behind us. The fiends have caught your despairing stench. You can fight, but your path forward is winding no and point. full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms and rebuild all that has been lost. Okay. Oh, wow. So there's a whole new interface here. I'm kind of seeing this update for the first time. So there's some changes, but it's pretty much the same thing. Count thyself among the fortunate few who managed to flee the foul pale. Nightingale still stands, but earth teeters on the brink. And these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, 
Wilt thou be a survivor? Find your bearings and acquaint yourself with this realm. Long has it been left in limbo. Not none like you. Though this dismal landscape bears few reminders of its esteemed past, it need not remain so. One final card I give to thee. Play it yonder, at the center of this ancient crossway, and lift the veil of darkness to usher in a new dawn. All right. Looks like we got some cool pumpkins for the season. Very cool. We're gonna apply this uh, cleansing card to the realm. Awesome. So now things are somewhat normal. Oh, there's Puck again. Now that has made a difference. Quite the mechanism indeed. But you needn't fret over the lofty particulars just yet. More immediate concerns are at hand. The realm you've now cleansed was once the center of the Empyrean network. Long ago, it allowed lesser fay and fleshlings to travel the wilds with ease and accuracy. Though the path onward is presently dormant, it did not meet the same ruinous fate as your human-made network. There is yet a way to reignite these portals. And once thou hast proven thyself ready, I shall lead thee to it. One of my promised gifts should help your cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch, purloined off the corpse of a realm walker. Keep these like close companions as you steal yourself. There is much to do before thy survival is assured. All right, cool. So we're gonna make our way down these steps. By the way, I love these pumpkins. They're so cute. My goodness. And of course, the interface has changed a little bit. Let's take a quick look at our map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by getting the first three things. So we have the hunting knife, mining pick, and then, you know, the, our first spell. And then from there, uh, there's going to be other things we can get as well. Uh, and there's also some NPCs we can talk to who uh, carry some quests. So uh, I think that's going to be the goal for this first episode. Um, so we'll see how this all goes. Uh, I don't like to waste anything when I run past stuff. So you're going to see me picking up pretty much every single mushroom, berry, you know, kind of thing. Anything that's like food, I'm going to probably take it with me. Uh, I can also go to the progression menu and now unlock um, this knife because, well, actually, hold on. The simple workbench I can learn for free. Uh, fun fact, you can also press the letter F while on this menu when you select something to uh, learn it. Uh, wow, so it looks like there are also some augmented variation stuff, or sorry, valid augmentation stuff listed here. That's new. That's really interesting uh, and good to see. And of course, we're going to learn the knife for free and we're going to exit out of it. Uh, there's also an atlas, so we're going to. Um, sorry, I don't know why I said that, but yeah, we have a quest log, essentially. Um, and I'm glad that they tell you, you can press a uh, period to kind of flicker this on and off, because that's something that a lot of people didn't know for a while. Uh, I didn't know that for a while and then I figured it out. Um, so the. The first thing we need to do is find the treasured items. There's 12 and then we also have some main quest stuff. We're not going to worry about the main quest stuff just yet. Um, so well, actually we are, but we're going to focus mostly on just getting uh, the different uh, tools. So we're going to do the main quest for the tools and we're just going to gradually try and get everything all at once. So let me uh, get started here. Let's head down. We're going to go to the second area and we have our mining pick. There's also some food here. Now, fun fact, you can take the mining pick and use it to break these rocks. And there's a chest back here. 
So if you're curious, uh, this is what I found in my chest, but I don't know if it's going to be the same for everyone. I kind of doubt it. Uh, you can also press and hold E to pick things up altogether. Oh, and it looks like there's a torch back here, so that's interesting. They, they hid the torch back here. Wow, okay. Interesting. Um, we're not going to worry about that torch, though, because it is daytime, and we do not need a torch right now. So I'm going to continue running all the way down, trying to go through this as fast as possible. What's interesting is that you have a resting start bonus, like a resting bonus when you start uh, of two, so... I'm going to take full advantage of that for now. I'm going to pick up these mushrooms. I'm going to pick up this scroll. And I can also open my inventory to see this. And immolation is basically like a fireball spell that I can throw in front of me. I'm going to release the help echo. And again, if you want to pause here and read that, feel free to do so. All right. We're also going to pick up whatever this is. So it looks like it's some wheat. Uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to break everything here because it's too heavy for me to carry around. And I'm not going to... Oh, I'm not going to waste my time doing that. Let me talk to Puck real quick. How now, child of Earth? The autumn winds whisper through amber trees. And with them come tales of bountiful feast and celebration. Yet, beneath those pleasant chimes, might I hear a darker note? Beware, Realm Walker, as Sawan's mischief comes creeping across the Feywilds. Alright, so his warning there, that is actually the Halloween event, so I'm not going to worry about that quest right now. Um, but we're going to continue to progress. I'm actually, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is actually complete this puzzle first, maybe. Let's see. way when you complete that um the musical tones uh kinds of quests uh these quests oh, sorry these like mini like points of interest they give you essence bundles and those essence bundles are going to be basically crucial for progression's sake so i figured i might as well get that one done now uh the lines that spawn from the uh from the different lights I don't think they actually connect or spawn if you have the lowest graphics settings on. So if it looks a little bit different, don't panic. That's probably why. Um, so yeah, let's uh, unlock our mining pick for free. And again, I'm going to press F to do that. And oh, I should probably reopen this tab and we're going to unlock uh, the estate Karen. Stick tent. The bedroll. Uh, let's go through our consumables. So we have the cooking, simple cooking station and then also under magic, the simple enchanter's focus. So that's all we're going to unlock for now. Um, so yeah, it's going to make me look into my inventory and we are good. So now uh, what I'm actually going to do is apply my immolation. Actually, let me double check. This is simple wood axe. All right, I'm going to apply immolation to my axe. And I'm going to enchant it. Now, uh, I'll be able to throw some fireballs, so that's going to be fun. And it's dead. So now I've gotten some free food. Let me make sure I uh, chop this up. The cool thing about the uh, carcasses is that the meat doesn't go bad in your inventory, so you don't have to worry about that, which is great. And uh, I'm going to, before I grab that other stuff, I'm actually going to grab this. 
that was, uh, I think some more wheat, so I should be able to make some bread with that later. And some cured meat. Alright, now let's grab our actual items. So we have arrows, we have a short bow, which if I could click on it, that'd be great, and then a throwing knife. Um, so I'm going to probably use the uh, throwing knife more because I feel like I'll probably have better accuracy, but fun fact is that if you um, actually break these, they drop essence, so... Oops, there you go. So you might as well. It's guaranteed essence. It's free, pretty much. And whatever you would have spent doing that... Uh, let's see, we gained eight essence. And, well, when I repair all, obviously, that's, go that's gone now. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna continue. I'm gonna break through here. Looks like we have a bound heart. I'm gonna set that on fire. I'm immediately going to attack it. The goal is to defeat this thing or break it as fast as possible. And because I used my fireball, I just killed three at a time. And that was good. So we're going to collect this essence bundle, just looking around briefly to see if there's any other items that maybe I want to pick up or take with me. Uh, and it doesn't look like it. Uh, the cool thing about this game is that a lot of times I feel like they uh, reward you for kind of being nosy and looking around in areas you probably shouldn't. Because <laughs> every once in a while you come across like chests and things like that. So I'm going to do my best to not overdo it, but I can't make any promises, guys. I have severe ADHD. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm not kidding, but I am, I am kind of, you know, I'll try my best. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to head, we're going to head down the stairs. That was a little bit of a jump. My backpack is already starting to become burdened. So I have to kind of keep that in mind moving forward. And I just want to make sure I grab all the items. It looks like I grabbed everything of importance. And if I open up my journal, now we have to establish a base and then uh, make a settlement, uh, find a settlement with potential allies. So looks like we also have some more stuff in the progression tab. I'm going to unlock this first. So both those items and then also uh, in the magic part here, we have the spell immolation. So now we can make that spell on our own once we make a base. So. I'm going to set up camp soon, but I need to, uh, I think what I'm going to do is head over to the NPCs over in that little area first. And uh, once I interact with them and I'm able to uh, kind of get my feet wet, we're going to continue and look for the other tools. Uh, but I think maybe first I'm going to set up my uh, first build as far as like my first uh, house. So that's going to be a little bit important. Um, as far as like where to build the house, I usually just build it like up there, like in the abatance realm. I thought that like at the top of the waterfall is kind of cool. And I also like um, kind of floating down from there. It's just fun. So <laughs> that's the only reason why I've done that, but it's not a necessary thing. All right. I got to make sure I get this heart. Oh crap, I forgot I can't, uh... Oh no. Am I still getting hit with enemies here? Are they still gonna spawn? Oh, looks like the game is trying to decide whether or not to punish me for that. And it's decided to be nice for now. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm gonna grab that essence bundle. We're gonna head downward. I think there's a chest over here if I remember correctly. Yep, there it is. I think there's also one on the other side, but, uh, oh, or is it in the back of this area? Yeah, you can run all the way back here, which is kind of crazy. And let me just double check this little space here. It doesn't look like there's anything else back here. So, uh, we're just going to jump down. It's a little bit of a jump. I've broken my foot, but don't worry, guys. It's okay. Because I also have uh, 
one of these thingies. You can use that to uh, fix injuries like that. So let me remember. I forgot what it's called. Let me see. It's called the injury salve. Well, I guess it's named pretty well. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Graham Turner. I think it's pronounced Graham. I don't know. Groans quietly. Every time I take a gander, another one is larking about. If I didn't know better, I ought to think you Earth lovers are hatching down here. All right, so I'm going to choose one of these options. Uh, I'm going to say, apologies, sir, didn't mean to trespass. Bloody heaven, stop looking like a kicked pup. <laughs> you can forgive the lack of tact, eh? I've been... I've seen more folks these last weeks than the past two decades combined. Truth is, I claim no finder's rights over this hovel. You lot can tear it down for all I care. Soon enough, I'll be back in the wilds and brace. Alright, so now I have some options here. I can say, do you have any wisdom to share with me with an earth lover like me? And I think that's the one I'm going to choose here. Not the kind you want, I reckon. I've seen plenty of moonstruck blokes stuffed with powder uh, powder and steel meet their ends without catching even a whiff of adventure. Before you go chasing for trouble, you ought to have mastered the basics. I'm going to just pick any option here. Hmm. Have you even cooked a proper meal yet? Not the frilly dinners from your soirees. Round here, what you find is what you will do. What you find is what we'll do. You can fill your guts eating the same grub day in, day out. But if you plan on standing a chance against the beast of the bound, variety will make you stronger. Go on. This recipe and my campfire are yours to use. Some warm food will do you good before you hit the road. Suppose it can't hurt. Now, if this sort of exchange is to become a habit, we might as well be made proper acquaintances. Graham Turner. Gra I'm not sure if it's Graham or Graamy or Graham, but I'm going to say Graham. Graham Turner is the name. I wish you luck on your travels, Walker. I'll be around if you still have need of me. Do you have any wisdom to impart? Hmm. Well, it seems you've chosen to be traveling on your own. Sticking to yourself has its advantages, but seeing as you're only starting out, it wouldn't hurt to make use of an extra pair of hands. There are some fine folks around here who are just idling about. They might agree to join your travels. I'll see about that. All right, so we're going to do that. Let's cook our first meal. I'm going to pick up this backpack. That's kind of nice. Um, let's make some... Let's see, what do we have to do here? Okay, so we have a few things. Let me check my quest log here. So the first quest, let's do, I'm going to hide this. Um, actually, I'm going to untrack that. Let's start with a hearty meal. So we need to eat roasted berries and eat mixed plants. So let's do that real quick. And you know what? Let's ignite. And then we're going to make some roasted berries. And we're going to make some... Uh, we also have to make some mixed berries. So what I'm going to do is go to the progression tab. And we're going to go to consumables. And then click on mixed plants. There we go. I'm also going to unlock, I think, the pack here. There we go. And we're going to craft that item. So now you should see mixed plants in your choices. And then we're going to craft it. All right. So now I'm going to consume. And then consume. And then I'm going to turn off this fireplace for now. And we're going to talk to Ramp. Oi, Realm Walker, back already? You can stick around if you need a meal or some shut eye. Is there anything else? Oh, I think I came back too soon. And you know what? Let me make sure that I... Actually, what's interesting is that for the autumnal thing... 
Okay, I was like wondering why it wasn't uh, erasing that, but now I see it. Okay, so let's continue. We have, uh, we have to find the rest of the treasured items. Uh, let's invite a survival, a survivor to join me. Uh, we also have some buildings, so I could make a tent and stuff if I really wanted to. And of course, the progression tab, I have more unlocks. So we're going to unlock the injury cell. That's going to be very useful later. And uh, yeah, it should be good. So now we are in Apprentice Bounce Slayer. Let's see if we have anything else going on here that I need to... Actually, it says a new unlock is available. Okay, I think it's just lagging. So I'm going to pick up as many mushrooms and berries as I can. Uh, take full advantage of this, guys, because even though they seem like plentiful, um, the worst thing is to like have to go out specifically for food when you could have just, you know, had it. <laughs> and it also doesn't weigh much in your inventory, so you might as well. Let's talk to Wilhelmina Sass. Was that you who put an end to the incessant commotion upstairs? I suspect that we might be the only fine souls in this realm, but your appearance is most wel is a most welcome surprise indeed. Who might you be besides the savior of our little band? I'm going to say... You're speaking with a realm walker extraordinaire. Oh, of course. I should have seen it right away. A talented, well-traveled realm walker is just what I had hoped to find. There are a great many new faces in the realms of as of late, with a great many stories to tell. Collecting such stories is my trade, you see. Wilhelmina Sass, columnist for Nightingale's finest paper, The Sunday Courier. Overjoyed to make your acquaintance. Now, if you're in the need of more material services, nourishment, equipment, protection, I'm certain my companions here can provide. We've always time for a new customer. I'm going to go with, have you heard any rumors lately? Always. Something particular you're looking for? Do you know of anyone who could lead me to Nightingale? Perhaps. It seems there are a great many of your fellow realm walkers about, diving from their Nightingale headquarters to realms as near as Sylvan's Cradle. I met one Aurelio Acevedo Ortega. Wait, yeah, I said that right. Cool, I got it. <laughs> as I play, as I pass through, and for a man of his years to survive the profession, he must have some level of skill or luck. Of course, I've no doubt the man was mad. Gold sickness. It had. <clears throat> it had he and his. It had he and his traveling companion so enraptured that they dismissed my politest inquiries outright. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. So I'm not going to ask about decor rumors we already talked about uh let me see if she says anything new with questions i guarantee the utmost honesty and i could ask her questions like anything else but i think that's all for now that's the only quest that i need so that's all i'm gonna inquire about uh so we're gonna open up the progression menu double check i keep getting things saying oh open the progression open the progression but it's never actually the case it just seems kind of random uh, so let's pick up more of these mushrooms, more of these um, berries, and I'm going to grab as many as I can before I head out of here. Uh, so we have one person we can recruit, and there was another person walking around upstairs. Um, but uh, either way, we're just going to, uh, you know what, let me go with this person here. We're going to recruit Jay. Hi, Jay. How's it going? All right. Tip of the hat. Let's go. Strength in numbers. Now we have done that. I'm gonna complete this. And then if I can get up here, that'd be great. There we go. And let me just check my quest here. So we still have to establish a first base. Um, let's see. Complete encounters in Fey Ruins. We haven't done that. 
uh, reignite the Empyrean portal to Sylvan's Cradle. That is a more advanced quest. We're not going to be able to do that today. So yeah, let's start by building our first house. So now that I've recruited someone, I'm going to run out. We're going to go upstairs. And we're going to make sure that we start building. So here's another person. We had Lewis over here. Oh, looks like it's raining outside. Lovely. Uh, let me take a quick look, make sure there's nothing back here. Oh, there's a random coffin. That's kind of funny. Wow, they really decorated this area a little bit. It's kind of cute. All right, just want to make sure there's nothing else here. Because sometimes looking around is actually worth it, so... Uh, yeah, there's that. And you know what? I don't want to go too far from everything, but... It might actually make sense to put my, um my house here like I usually do so I'm gonna mark it on my map and then I'm gonna rush over to that direction and we're gonna start building probably I believe that's on the waterfall but I'll have to check once we get closer I see some wolves in the distance I'm gonna try and avoid them for now because once they swarm you uh, it sucks and I'm also currently with the wet debuff now the wet debuff, what it does is my rate of stamina regeneration is drastically reduced and my clothes are soaked through and uh, though, uh, through, though time will dry you, a fire will do so much more quickly. So if I uh, pull out my torch, uh, I'll dry up. Oh, and it looks like we have some random food here. Great. Uh, the nice thing is that as you scavenge and stuff, sometimes you come across some nice little goodies like that. So, you never know. It's good to look and check. We have more deer over here and things like that. I'm just going to ignore them for now. Uh, yeah, so usually I build my house on the other side or like near the waterfall area. But I'm not going to do that this time. Also, I hear a hope echo, so I'm going to interact with that. And I'm going to show the text on the screen for a little bit. Feel free to pause. And then I'm going to close. We're going to keep going, making our way. And basically, I'm going to choose this location because it's the closest to the very center and we're going to have a little bit of walking around to do. Um, for the most part, I'm probably not going to be walking around too, too much, but I want to be in an area where there's lots of trees and things. Uh, so this is the area. Um, looks like there's some blueberry bushes. I'm going to grab all the mushrooms, all the blueberries. Um, looks like I also got some essence that I can pick up, which is great. I'm gonna grab these things. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move a little bit closer this way. So if I open the map, I'm kind of like veering a little too far away. Maybe I want to be on this side. Um, but there are other points of interest. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create my first house probably around this area um and i think that'll be fine so i think right here is good probably a safe spot so we're gonna do that so i'm gonna place my estate karen right over maybe like right here i think right here should be good and then i'm going to uh, get it so it looks like I need rocks, stone blocks, and wood bundle. So I have used my wood bundle. I should have grabbed it out of the fireplace. That was a mistake on my part. Don't be don't be like me, guys. Uh, grab your fuel back when if you uh, you know if you're smart because you're probably gonna need it. And then I'm just going to continue to chop down some trees here. The stumps take a lot longer to break, so I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Not until I have a little bit better of an axe. Or until I absolutely have to. Whichever comes first. Alright, so we got our wood bundles. I should be enough. Alright, and then we need our rocks and stone blocks. A lot of times, rocks will be kind of scattered closer to the water so if you ever need rocks in this game maybe head toward like a water source and then you know check in that area because a lot of times you'll find rocks there and uh 
you know that can definitely be good and then i think stone blocks was the other thing i needed so i'm going to uh get those because stone blocks you have to break these rocks in order to get them so we're gonna need this material anyway so i'm just gonna gather it now while i'm at it grab a few of these and of course our helper here can't really do anything uh in this early level because they start off with a hunting knife which can be good so uh we'll let we'll let them be i guess and it looks like we found some more random food laying around we got some sticks now uh you know picking up sticks off the ground that's great and you know what i'm also going to pull out my torch so that my um my wet debuff goes away it's not raining anymore there's no reason for me to still have that and there we go so we established a base doesn't look like one but we established it and uh you know you could press j to go into the guidebook and you know do all our stuff so that was completed um so now we have to unlock the simple tanning station that's another one we have to do so i'm going to go to the uh well actually let's check out the tile sets what is this oh special event items oh okay so it looks like they moved some stuff around here um that's okay so i'm just gonna unlock everything that is glowing or flashing in blue that is all going to be unlocked because i can unlock those items for free and i don't have to worry about using any of my essence for that just yet now keep in mind that the essence that you acquire is also used for your repairs so try not to use it too quickly or too frivolously if you know what i mean um so now i have a choice i can either go with a a wood foundation or like a rock foundation so if i were to go with a foundation that is made of stone uh, then i need more stone blocks and because i'm so close to the water i think we can probably make do with, with a stone ground anyway so we're just gonna do that um i think i'm going to place my first tile probably like here and we're gonna do a little bit of stuff here um I think maybe this might be too low, so I'm actually going to um, press X to go to the building options and hit remove. We're going to remove all of these, actually. It's too low. So uh, let's try again. So I'm going to place and uh, I can adjust the height by pressing and holding R while also using the scroll wheels. So I'm going to adjust the height a little bit and we're going to have a maybe a little bit of a higher up um building here so we're gonna add these in i decided to build a little bit closer and i think a six so like a two by three uh stone tile should work i'm gonna add the materials uh looks like i need some more stone blocks that is okay i'm gonna exit out of these the building menu I keep trying to block with it because I'm used to using a, an axe pick, so though, <laughs> if I randomly block, I'm, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> just force of habit. I'm just going to grab these items here. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to use a uh, stone for the uh, walls. I think I'm just going to use some sticks and we should be fine. All right. Just going to add everything else. Now I'm going to move the estate care so I'm going to press X and then I'm going to move it using R and I think I'm going to move it probably right here. Next, I'm going to put up my first walls. So the cool thing is that I can pre-build everything I need to build essentially and then just like place everything after. So I'm going to put my windows here so at least I can see outside. Uh, part of the reason why I like to have windows is that if for some reason there are enemies or like maybe deer or something sitting outside, I can just snipe them without any issues. So that is definitely a huge advantage to that. Um, I'm also going to place a door frame. We're going to go with a crude, crude slated or crude slatted. I don't know. It's weirdly spelled uh door there uh i decided i'm gonna change this one up so i'm gonna remove this wall and we're gonna put a uh door right over here as well and then i'm gonna press 
E and it's going to fill up as many spaces as it can depending on the materials I need so it looks like I still need sticks and wood bundles so I'm going to go and retrieve that now actually I should have gone this way <laughs> wrong way that was a little bit embarrassing part of the reason why I'm building my house first is because it's a free teleport and it's really um it can be helpful later just having um oh wrong tool <laughs> can't use a pickaxe on a tree that's not going to be very effective i don't think and also there is uh fall damage so be careful when you chop these trees because if you get hit with that that's gonna suck uh also if your helper um knocks down a tree pay attention because if you get hit by that it's also going to suck so just a heads up <laughs> You don't want to get bonked on the head with one of these trees especially at this early level that could be kind of uh i wouldn't say devastating but it wouldn't be good all right i think i might have enough i might not have enough sticks but uh you know as you continue to get stuff you're gonna learn what uh materials grab what so anything that looks kind of like this obviously it's gonna be plant fiber anything that kind of stands up like this with kind of a sturdy ish you know base to it so something like this or something like this these are going to give uh well that's going to give uh crude fiber but something more sturdy like this with like a wood center that's going to give uh crude sticks so make sure that you uh you know are able to identify those early and we're also going to place down actually i'm going to place down some stone stairs because i i feel like if i don't i'm going to regret it so uh we're going to get more stone blocks uh, I'm actually going to go all the way down this way and we're going to run to the other side of this water here. I'm going to change my pickaxe. And we're going to grab some of these. There is no friendly damage luckily so it's not like you're going to be hurting your uh your recruiter if you accidentally hit them with your axe or something if they get in the way uh you guys probably just saw the immune sign so that's cool we also have some ore here i'm gonna grab some of this ore actually and now i have even less stamina because of the um actually you know what let me uh show you guys something so uh, you can actually give them stuff to hold, so I'm going to move a lot of these items over, so things like the gunpowder, any kind of material that I'm not using immediately. Um, so I'm going to basically keep all the food and arrows and things for now, but all this other stuff, this heavy stuff, I'm going to put away uh, to my helper's inventory. Because for some reason they have like godlike strength and they're not really affected by the... Um, the debuff of heavy things so um, as far as I can tell it's actually worth it to hand things over to them and uh, yeah my pickaxe is really shitty so obviously this this piece of rock here is gonna take forever to mine out of so I'm not gonna worry about that for now I'm gonna continue getting some stone blocks but I just wanted to explain that a little bit all right Grabbing more stuff, more rocks, and getting more, I should probably get more plant fiber, more sticks and things like that because I know I'm going to be needing that. Um, same thing with the wood bundles and things like that. I want to make sure I have everything that I can. Um, as of right now, as far as I know, I don't think you can pin, uh, you know, requirements for your house, like, anywhere on the screen, which kind of sucks. Like, I wish there was, like, a way to kind of know ahead of time. Like, you could build your whole house and then be like, okay, I need this many. Because if you're anything like me and you can't remember, you know, even what you had for breakfast, it's gonna be hard to do something like that by yourself. Um, so there's that. All right. So, gonna continue to collect all of this plant fiber, all the sticks. And we're going to break that down. Okay. And now we're going to head back. 
Oh, I was like, I thought that was Puck for a second. I was like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, so if you get too far from your helper, your helper will kind of just automatically teleport near you. So now I just need to put together a roof. So we're going to go with a crude flat roof for now. And I'm also going to build, um, what was the other thing? I cannot remember right now. Oh, the doors. I need door frames. So we're going to put some doors up. Keep the deer out because they will jump through the, the uh, walls and I'm going to apply that now uh, right now on the settings for this guy I have a actually something I want to point out before I do anything if you interact with your survivor I call them my helper because they're basically you know an extra pair of hands but uh, I'm gonna go over this menu a little bit uh, so that you kind of have an idea of what to look at. So there's the movement so they can follow you. Work here will just mean that they stand in place and do whatever task they're like able to do essentially. So if they're holding, you know, um, so if they're holding like a pickaxe, for example, they'll just be mining in that area. Or if they're holding an axe, they'll be, you know, chopping wood in that area, that kind of stuff. Um, you can also have them stand still. I'm going to have him stand still right now because I don't need him following me around. And then uh, manage equipment and inventory. We're going to go back here. But, uh, you know, like I said, this is just like an extra inventory space. So we're going to grab all of the things that are not his clothing or weapons. All right. And then I'm also going to interact with his behavior. So these are things that we need to look at. Um, we have attack revive and potions uh you want to leave all these things as allowed uh except for maybe potions if you're handing them random potions or something to hold on to which i don't know why you would considering how much potion space you have and the fact that they don't weigh very much so i would maybe avoid doing that unless it's like health potions that they can use i guess then we have harvesting so can they mine can they log can they gather harvested resources we're gonna let that uh, sit as allowed. Uh, as far as fueling structures, I always hit not allowed because a lot of times, uh, if you give them materials or let's say they're holding on to materials after you just came back from like whatever you were doing from like another realm and the materials are very, um, high quality or something, you don't want them using high quality wood to make a fire for a campfire you know what i mean like you don't want them using high quality wood to cook food like it doesn't make any sense so i always put not allowed uh just out of precaution and then uh build unfinished structures i'm gonna put not allowed for the same reason and we're gonna allow repair though i haven't really um i haven't really messed around too much with repair but you can just hand them a hammer and equip it and they'll just do the job so we're gonna exit out of here and uh for the next step i'm going to open up my my inventory i'm going to repair all remember to repair guys because if you don't and your gear breaks that sucks uh but what i am going to do is i'm going to go to this page and we're going to start looking at things for building so one of the things we're going to need is storage um <clears throat> so i'm going to go to the structures tab and uh notice we also already have a bedroll so i can place the bedroll down uh i also have the angling basket which i want to unlock so we're gonna unlock that with the five essence we're also gonna unlock uh the plant box early on and we are not going to unlock the rain barrel even though it's not that expensive uh i'm gonna leave it alone for now um just because well i don't think there's a real reason for that now the the valid augmentations thing uh i'm not really sure why you would need oh sorry i'm i clicked on the wrong one i was gonna say why would you need that for the uh barrel but it looks like the barrel gives like a simple farming augment so i guess we could unlock it just for the augmentation um so you know what we're just gonna uh, have it out there but we don't really actually need it because the house is so close so if you have to choose for some reason or you don't have enough essence don't worry about it um looks like we need some more sticks and a wood bundle but that's not what i'm gonna worry about just yet i'm gonna place down my angling basket because this is going to be my first form of storage and we're, i'm gonna try and line the walls here with some storage containers so i'm gonna start off with maybe four different storage containers 
and I'm going to, uh, you can press and hold E and then add resource from inventory just to specify what kind of resource you're adding. So uh, in this case, I'm also holding cinder strands, which are kind of nice and I don't necessarily want cinder strands to be uh, uh, used up for this. So I'm going to actually, well, actually, you know what I should do? I'm going to empty my inventory in this first thing. So I'm going to put the heaviest items, so uh, rocks. I'm also going to put stone blocks in here. Uh, so regular materials and stuff I'm just going to put in here. Um, let's see, we also have bones. We have bound ichor. This ingot. Hide. Gunpowder. Uh, I can hold on to the meat. It doesn't weigh as much. Tin is going to go in here. Uh, and I think that's all that I want to throw in there for now. And I'm going to exit out of here. I'm also going to place a new structure. So I'm going to place down my, um, uh, let's see where are the stone stairs. There we go. I'm going to place down my stone stairs right here. And then when I come back, we're going to apply those things. So, uh, well, actually, hold on. Let me double check here. So we have a... We have stone blocks, sticks, and wood. I thought I just placed some of those things in here. Hold on. Yeah, so the stone blocks is here. That's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this uh, angling basket, and then I'm going to go here to this cog, and I'm going to leave this as not allowed for survivors to interact with, but I'm going to leave it allowed for crafting and allowed for building because I want to build out of there. And uh, we're just going to select that. Now we put down our stairs and I'm going to have to go and get more uh, sticks and a wood bundle. So we're going to get that. Uh, I'm going to run this way, actually, because I also need a lot of plant fiber for the baskets. So we're going to do that. I'm going to try and not get too deep into the uh, gathering process just yet because there are other tools that we want to pick up, but I just wanted to kind of set up this first base just to get it out of the way uh, because it's nice having that extra teleport and you can always go back and, uh, you know, do things like this later. And now we're going to put the wood bundle up. I need to chop down a tree, but first I need to find a nearby tree. Okay, we have... We have some uh, trees over here. I'm going to pick up all this plant fiber while I'm at it. Switching to my axe, chopping it down. And then I'm going to interact. There we go. That completed the structure. And now I'm also going to uh, add my crude fiber here. Make sure I'm not putting in that other one because that one could be very useful later. All right. So for this one, I'm going to put my sticks, my wood, uh, and my plant fiber here. And that also, well, actually, uh, this, um, plant fiber strand, I'm going to put over here in this basket. And this is going to be, uh, crafting only. So anything that is uh, put in this basket essentially is only going to be available for crafting or you can only craft with it. So that's going to include things like food. Uh, well, actually, I don't have to do that with food because you can use this to make like animal fibers and I think oil as well. I think animal oil. Um, but either way, I'm going to put the raw berries in there, raw mushrooms, more raw mushrooms. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to throw in there. Uh, I'm going to put the arcane wick over here. And then uh, well, just to double check, I just want to make sure. So only crafting allowed. So these things are, these materials are not going to be used for building essentially. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the gold there. And yeah, that's pretty much that. I would say that's pretty much it for the first, uh, you know, initial setup. And then, uh, I'm also going to put down a bed because I have not done that yet for some reason. So I'm going to go down to furniture, then beds bedroll and then I'm going to place it here 
and now I'm going to just auto add resources. Looks like I'm I'm still low on plant fiber somehow. But uh, what's funny is that I'm going to have so much of it later that it's just not even going to matter. So I'm not too worried about it. But uh, yeah, the cool thing is that once you get your sickle or once you either craft or obtain one, the sickle uh, gives you like a higher yield when you kill plants and things or when you harvest plants. Uh, so that's definitely really good. I'm also going to place down a, um, let's see, not this. I want to place down a fireplace. Here we go. Cooking, simple cooking station. That's basically your fireplace. So I'm going to put the simple cooking station in the very center. Actually, I'm not going to put it too close to the bed. Uh, not because I think it'll catch on fire or anything like that, but because that's not why I need it. Uh, when things are warm or when the area is warm and well lit, that also helps the other crafting stations. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Uh, we're going to put some sticks there and we're not going to ignite it just yet. Uh, but what we can do is we can also, uh, well, actually I should also unlock the simple tanning station because that was one of the quests we had earlier. So we have the simple salt table, but here's the simple tanning station right here. We're going to learn that and then uh we're also going to make leather we're gonna learn that and uh as far as shitness bone goes we don't really need that right now but it is nice to have uh and it looks like they also changed the icon for chitinous hide so that's interesting all right so now that that's done i'm going to choose some items to make so we're gonna have some roasted meat i'm gonna auto fill this oh that's a mistake oh well there we go. That's all the meat. And then I'm also going to make some roasted berries. We're going to go with maybe, um, I'm going to make like five, whoops, not 54. We're going to make like five of these. And then I think I'm also going to make as, oh, actually I could do more of these than I realized. So, uh, I'll do 10 of these. We're going to go back and make, uh, for the roasted berries, maybe another five more, maybe ten more. But either way, it's going to be made and we're going to let that cook. Now, while that's cooking, we're going to take full advantage of that because now, if you notice, the bedroll gives you a sleeping comfort level of four. So I'm going to rest now and then I'm going to reset to dawn the next day.